Namaste and welcome to our third edition of Adjustment and Alignment Posture Clinic. So today we're going to go through um, an explanation of Ashva Sanchalan Asana, which is the horse rider's pose. So let's get straight into it. Roll out your mat and let's break it down. We begin with tabletop position. Make sure that your arms are really under your shoulders, spreading your fingers wide and pressing the fingertips down into the mat. So you can have a wide stand. If it's too wide, maybe you don't have much stability in your shoulders. And if it's too, too tight, then as well, you don't have much room for your arms. And we begin into a nice downward facing dog. Make sure that your feet are hip distance wide open, your hands are shoulder width wide open. Hips are square and lifting your hips up. So from here, lifting the hips already up towards the ceiling. And you realize if, if they're slouchy, you're hanging a bit down, but lifting it up. Good. Then keeping the hips square to lift the right leg up towards the sky. Make sure you don't open the hip rolling the right hip down and lifting through the left help up and then bend the leg shifting the weight forward into your hands and now draw the knee as much as you can into your chest first step here to create more space for your leg to step through and then gazing forward now leading with the heel flex the foot and leading with your right heel to step through. Super important here. If you if you have a slouchy foot, maybe you, you can't step the right foot and this will happen. So leading, flex the foot and stepping through, stepping first, touching the ground with your heel, place down and then lower the left knee down, untuck the toes. Now here make sure you have really a wider stand and not that your feet are like in one line but that your feet are a little bit apart from each other. Maybe have the fingertips onto the ground or place them under bolsters or blocks to create a little bit more height for you. Now here, draw the right hip back, open the chest, lifting the heart. And here you want to create strength in your pelvic floor. So if you feel like you're slouching through, all the energy goes down and you're too much stretching, make sure you activate the pelvic floor, really lifting from the base of the spine and then lifting up so you can create a little bit more height and pushing the floor away with the right foot and the left knee. Squaring the hips, drawing the right hip back, pushing the left hip forward. And then drawing the navel to the spine as well. Ideally, your belly is not touching the thigh or like just minimal. Good. And then from here, lifting up the arms right above your head. And make sure here that your rib cage is not flaring open. So draw the ribs back, draw the belly button to the spine, in and out. Push the floor away with the right foot. Keep on drawing the right hip back. Now you have a firm and nice stand, the fingertips reaching up towards the sky. Right heel is drawing, right heel is drawing back towards the left knee and the left knee is drawing forward. So they're drawing towards each other, even though you're doing a split. This is where you are in Ashva Sanchalan Asana. And then to release, bring the hands back down, press the hands down into the mat, tuck the left toes under, lifting the left knee off the mat, extending through the left knee. A few times you can rock forward and back. As well, what is important when you step the right leg through forward, make sure you have a wide opening in your leg. So what you like to avoid is 
having the knee like this, this will gonna injure your knee over time and um, will put straining on your uh, kneecap, the ligaments and the whole joint system here. So as you step the leg through, make sure it's a little bit further front. And then when you release out of the pose, pressing the hands down, creating space for your right leg to come up and then come back into Tiger Curl. Draw the right knee a lot up, up into the chest. Still the weight is in your hands. Bring the forehead to the knee, drawing the belly button up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Again, don't open the hip too much. Draw the right hip down, lifting the left hip up. Down dog. And release. Great. So this is basically the pose. Ashva Sanchalanasana, horse riders pose. And very important, you want to protect your knees. As we said, when you step through, leading with the heel, when you lead with the heel, you activate the quads, quadriceps. So this will help you in all the other postures leading with the heel through and then when you come down make sure you're stepping the foot ideally further front than your hand so if the foot is behind your hand you might create this which you don't want to create but if you step it further through you can open a little bit more in between your legs plus you're protecting your knee to have a little bit more opening the angle opening through the um through the knee The other two points important, pushing the floor away and activating the pelvic floor up. So you're not hanging here in a holiday. And this will give you strength and build up the muscle structure the, to help you stay in the posture a little bit longer so you can create more ease and stability at the same time. All right. That's been our post for today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask um, anything about the structure, the terminology, anything about muscles or skeletal system. Just send me a message or comment and then I'm happy to answer those. Thank you so much. Namaste.